so I bumped into an old friend um, and he was a, an Asian guy he was the only Asian guy in our school actually <laughs> and, uh, and uh, uh, since since school he'd grown a beard and he'd sort of changed his look a bit and I was like alright do, do you want to come down the pub like you used to and we'll have a game of pool and he's like no no I don't go down pubs anymore I was like why not He's like, oh, I've started uh, practicing my religion. Like, what do you mean practicing your religion? And uh, so we, we started talking. And to be honest, I wasn't looking to convert. It wasn't some sort of thing that, oh, maybe this is going to be the answer to all my... I was just curious. I was just interested in, in why someone else chooses to live their life that way. A lot of people see as the, the restrictions of Islam and the rules and stuff are not actually there to, to like, control you and hold you back but there are, there are guidance and a guideline for living in actually a, a, a better place and a better society. Do you know what I mean? In Islam, I don't know if you've ever seen a Muslim pray, but you put your head to the ground and you accept, and part of it is accepting that in the greater scheme of things, we're just a tiny little cog and we're not the be all and the end all. We're not the big shiny I am, I am. Yeah? And it's about having humility. Lowering yourself down like that and accepting that you're something s small. Even if you're amazing and beautiful wi within that being small, but that there, there are things that are out of your control, there are things that you just need to relax and let the, let the tide take you, as it were. There is such serenity from that. And I, I still get that serenity every day when I pray. And for me, that's how I got through prison and that's the only way that I could have got through a place like that. Honest to God, answer is I still don't know. Even everything that's happened, going to prison, um, all the evidence against me was secret. All of the um, court hearings where they discussed that stuff, I wasn't allowed to go to. My, my defence solicitors weren't allowed to go to. So to this day, even as I'm sitting here, an innocent man who's been exonerated by the courts, I don't know what I was accused of in the first place. The only thing I've ever been told was one sentence which is, Bullivant is a threat to our troops abroad. And that's all I've ever been told. Even everything that's happened, going to prison, do you know what I mean? Having to go on the run, being under house arrest. I, I would never take it back, making that decision. The best decision I ever made. I'll end with this point, because, I mean, at the crux of it, this is the most important thing. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't why I became Muslim, because I hadn't done it before. But it was when I did it, I realised that this was definitely the right thing for me.